Hi, I'm Jake. Let's create a composition with our footage. Just film your hands using tripod and while you're turning your hands together, move one of the hands out of the frame and continue the motion with other hand. Also, don't forget to film few seconds of clean background without any hands in the frame. Duplicate footage by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard. Now, in the moment of the cut, when two hands transition in one, cut the layer to this moment. Left mouse double click on layer and using this rudder brush tool at the first frame, left mouse click and drag to select this part of the video, where we need to see our second hand. And then hold Alt key on keyboard to deselect other part of the image where hand will be invisible. You can also adjust size of rudder brush by holding Ctrl on keyboard and left mouse click and drag left to right to change the size. Then frame by frame check the mask so it will stick to the area which we need. Then click on this freeze button to save all the progress. Now select button layer and duplicate it. Top layer call it matte and change feather to higher value like 55. Shift edge change to minus 15%. As you can see we've made edge softer. Then footage below our matte drag to a point where nothing is in the frame. In my case it's the end of the video and right mouse click on it to go to time freeze frame. Now change track matte to alpha inverted matte. This is what we get as a result. And now we need to work on few details. Let's duplicate our bottom layer. Using pen tool we can select this part of the image to recover shadows. Press F on keyboard to change feather. I'll set mine to 55 to make edge softer. Then also cut this layer to transition moment. Let's duplicate bottom layer one more time. Drag it on top and name it finger. Because we are going to recover our last finger. Go to first frame and left mouse click on it. Choose time freeze frame. We also need to duplicate our matte layer and drag it on top. Set finger layer to alpha inverted matte. Using pen tool, let's mask out our finger. Also press F on keyboard to adjust the feather. I set mine to 55. Then select finger layer, press P on keyboard for position and click on stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then about here, let's move our finger like I'm lifting it from the table. We can also press T on keyboard to see our opacity and animate it from 100 to 0. So it would also fade away like finger goes up in the air. Guess what? Once again we are duplicating our footage layer. Drag it on top and at the first frame where we see only one hand, right mouse click on it and go to time freeze frame. And cut this layer to transition point between two hands and one hand. Using pen tool, draw a mask like this. We will use only three frames of it as a transition between our shots. At last frame press P on keyboard, then hold SHIFT on keyboard and press T and R for opacity and rotation. Then set keyframes to all of them by clicking on stopwatches. And at the first frame rotate it a bit and change position to match our hands. Also change opacity to 0. Then press F on keyboard to change feather to high value like 150 to make soft edge. And finally, it's time to support my channel via one of the links in description. Or just simply subscribe to my channel, leave a like and comment or just share this video with friends. All your support is very much appreciated. Thank you.